when you let the power down on a watch movement, uh, if you can see your components, it makes it much easier. If you can't see the components, then what I like to do is give the watch a little bit of a wind so that I can see those components in action. I'm looking at what my crown wheel is doing, where it's located, and I'm looking at my ratchet wheel, and then also at the click so that I can see all of these parts together. So if I notice here, my crown wheel is rotating in a counterclockwise direction. The ratchet wheel which is here, is rotating in a clockwise direction. And then my click is rotating in between the teeth on that ratchet wheel. It has a spring engaged with it, and that spring is recoiling against uh, the click itself, and that's allowing this beak to stay engaged with the teeth. And then as the ratchet wheel recoils, when I let my hand off of it from the mainspring, uh, there is actually two teeth on the ratchet wheel that is engaging with this flat area right here on the click. Uh, that in, generates a very flat area, makes for a very even wear across those teeth so that nothing is, is going to be damaged. If the beak was the only thing that was holding it in place, uh, the teeth would, would become damaged and potentially uh, break that off. So this, this shares that pressure along this whole plane here and actually causes it to block out. So to let the power down, what I recognize I need to do is cause this click to rotate in a counterclockwise direction, and that's going to disengage this beak with the teeth and allow it to, to unwind. To accomplish that, I'm actually going to spin the movement around. I like to do this with my dominant hand, so I'm going to have the crown in my left hand and my pick here in my, my right hand. As I give it just a little bit of a wind with my left hand, now I can disengage the click from in between the ratchet wheel teeth, and I will be able to let that power down on that movement very gingerly. So now I can come back in and allow the uh, beak to, to go back into place with the recoil, but as you can see, there's not much power coming in from the spring now. It's, uh, the power is completely down. If I uh, stop my balance, you can see that it's... Um, there's no power left within the movement, and now it would be, would be safe for us to start doing a dismantling of our movement, taking parts and components out.